Welcome back guys to more Fallout. Uh, I got a quest update right as I poured it back here. And that said... Get the latest uh, issue of public occurrences. So I don't know if we can just... Uh... Ah, maybe this? Noodles, we all eat them, we all love them. Right? Conspiracy. Holy shit. Oh my. Maybe I have to go inside. It wasn't that one. Well, hello. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free coffee. All right. Holy shit. That is, that must be in my inventory and Ugh. What's it called view from the vault. Uh. All right, so she's basically talking about uh, she's interviewing a guy who came from before it all went to shit. Or right when it went to shit. Okay, uh, it's, uh, uh, sure. Sure. Hey, you're in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Officer? That a real vault suit? Damn. Hey, you know how I do. Let's see, how's the easiest way to get there? Oh, maybe this. Yeah, side. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Ah! Oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Um, yeah, sure. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> when you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Uh... We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Mm. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. 
Anything else you remember? <sighs> We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course there's the Institute. The infamous Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. The discarded prototype, anyway. Hmm. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. Fair enough. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. All right. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Jeez, I don't remember. Uh... One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Uh... uh... I don't think so. No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a ten-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In what? any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. Ellie? You two be careful. Hmm. And Piper is just... Just in the back. Just... Standing around. Doing nothing, really. Contributing nothing. All you outsiders were such I funny. I didn't want Ellie oh, to God. hear this, but I think you should know. Oh God. <laughs> we're still good. Oh God. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. We're still good. Bad news. Release alt. He's more than just. It's gonna happen. He's a professional. Oh no, it's Quick, not. Clean. Phew, lad. Phew. Has no enemies. 
because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. I was kind of trapped, to be fair. La la la. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. One heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you? All right, give Piper. It a try? All right. Won't be able to pick this. Calm thyself. No luck. Guess we'll need to find the key. Dude. See that platform in the distance near the Impro city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor. Improbable. Office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. You can just brute force it, can't you? I mean, I guess there's some kind of security feature. But that's only if the door opens, you know. And like... You know, bad stuff, but... Meh. Bye, Piper! The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Oh. Did you need help? Oh, service. Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Hmm. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house oh my. kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. You had it in your drawer? Man, well, you have an ugly face. She didn't even get to... walk away, really. I just took it. <laughs> Nothing sneaky. Ah oh, well, I'm not known as the sneakiest of fellows. That's not the image I'm going with. All right, let's head in. I do wish I had more AP. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. I shall do the honors. They seem small to you. Well, I should take all of this. Maybe a guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Yeah. You check out that desk. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Spooky. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Ah, some ammo. Nice. 
I am running low on a lot of stuff. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San mm -hmm. Francisco Sunlights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you sure, with me, come man. with me. Come with me, man. It's fine. I mean, I don't mind. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? Uh, you say jump, sanctuary. I'll say how high. All right. Okay. Didn't really expect that, but sure. Dog sure, me. go for it. Get the scent, boy. Wow, dog meat. Here you are. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Rough. Whoosh. Hanging out with Valentine, huh? Good for you. Make these good people. Ah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I do like the quest, uh... The little quest pictures. They're quite good. Where are we going? Don't have a lot of, of ammo for this. Is that the 50 caliber? I don't remember. Maybe. What's this one? Kellogg must have stopped here. Oh Stick yeah, around. that's the one See I'm gonna turn the into trail. the 308. This is the 50 caliber. San Francisco Sunlights. Dog meat find something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. You couldn't just have gone over to the cigarette and smelled it? I guess not. I mean, what do I know? That is my shotgun. I can't see shit with this giant fucking scope on it. What the fuck? Just to, uh, I don't have no, no idea what I what the fuck I picked up. The scope is too big. Come on now. I'm just going for stats. I, don't, I feel like I'm being punished here. Uh... Ba -da -ba. 
Sure. That's a lot of ammo it can hold. Jesus. All right. I didn't even notice. Where are we going? Uh, looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Bloody bandages. Now I'm telling you, track this. that nose is uh. second to none. Okay, oh. boy, let's oh. track him. Oh. Meh. What? Why don't you have any, like, receptors and stuff for smell? Waste ammo. It's fine though. It's fine. What's five? That's the sneaky pistole. Yeah. No, I should just use this more. I mean, fuck it. I have so much ammo. I know what they're good. Jeez. What? Don't underestimate us again. So you say? Oh, I have a drum feed. Oh. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it. I just didn't. I have no idea what the fuck upgrades I'm putting on these right. weapons. Dog fuck needs it. Found something. You know the drill. Where are we going, boy? <laughs> yup. A decoy, huh? Clever. <laughs> All right, sure. Me? He's a very cautious man, this Kellogg guy. Oh, that's a hole. Nah, it's fine. You know, whatever. Meh.
Is it? Maybe. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Maybe he knew the ghouls. Meh. Alert. Critical signs. Damn. Alert. Critical Hell signs. What party happened here? What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Aww. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Aww. No. 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 I want to keep talking to him. Please. He's not dead. No, it's fine. I'll fix you up. See, that would have been cool. We get to build our own robot. Oh well. Maybe I should use the sneaky pistole now that I gave it automatic firing. Gee, okay. Oh my god, where am I gonna start from? Jesus. Where am I? Okay, not that far back, but... Uh, fuck this game, though. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, thanks for watching, and tune into the next.